we're here with Chef Bob Overholzer from the Gold Rush Barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get cooking, Bob. I mean in the nicest go. possible way. Again, without the distance glasses. <laughs> I hate you for that, Joey Panic. All right, I Bob, let's you. cook our All chicken. Right. Okay, this is a, a chicken Florentine made in a skillet casserole dish. And mm. first, it's important to always season. So we're going to start with some salt. Only do you want to help me just sprinkle some salt on oh, that. sprinkle some salt And you know, and you got to make it high. Yeah, Linda's hot. good at this. She's and been practicing. There practicing. you go. All yeah, sometimes down, I even front. hit the chicken. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and then some pepper, salt Should and pepper. Should I stop now? You're good. Yeah, okay, that's, great. that's great. And I notice you're grinding pepper. your pepper. That makes yeah, it Yeah, I love the fresh makes pepper. It makes it better. Too. Best. On it's everything. Best. So just a little bit of olive oil in the skillet. Okay. Extra virgin. Okay. Yeah, love that. Yes, that's, that's exactly the best. What I use and then a little garlic. Mm, and you don't skillet. want that to go too long because you don't want it to brown, but you want to season the oil. So this is Then it's Italian time to really, put in the yeah. chicken. Right. Mm. Now the chicken's going to start here in the skillet, and we're just going to brown it up a little bit, and then we're going to add the spinach, and this is all going to end up going into the oven. Okay. Oh. All right. So and your spinach is already cooked, correct? No, this is a frozen spinach, frozen oh, chopped okay. spinach. But it's important that you want to uh, drain all the water out of it. Okay. Okay, so once you get the chicken brown, we're going to rush this up just a little bit. Yeah. You can actually take your spinach and put it right in. So just a nice. little bit more olive How oil. How long could you do that for? Just about two minutes on each side. Because again, it's going to finish in the oven. Okay. okay. So then we add our chopped spinach. Again, you got to strain all that water out okay. or it'll be too runny. So I like got, using the frozen spinach, so, so that makes frozen it I like that too, so right. And then okay. I like to add a little nutmeg to my yeah. chick, my oh, yeah. Florentine. Do the nice really? little woodsy flavor. That's always nice. Nutmeg. How much was yeah. that? Like a that's teaspoon? A, two teaspoons? Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. That's, 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 and then some feta cheese. A lot of wow. people use mozzarella. Yeah. Yeah. I like the feta cheese. Mix yeah. that in the spinach a little bit. Yeah. And then once you have everything, you know, you get the spinach going. You're going to want to just spread it all out. Oh. Put that spinach in different places. Okay. Okay. Wow. And then we're going to finish it off with what an Alfredo sauce. I like to just use your favorite Alfredo sauce in a can, or you can make your own cream sauce. You just kind of pour what it What is an top. Alfredo sauce? Alfredo sauce is basically a heavy cream and garlic and cheese sauce. Okay. Ooh. Okay? Mm -hmm. So it has a ton of flavor. You can, you can smell that in yeah, there yeah, already. Yeah. Yeah. Once you've got your chicken and spinach and cream sauce, then you put this in the oven at 350 for about 20 to 30 minutes. Wow, this is a great weeknight yeah. dinner. Very yeah. quick. And that is easy Everything to do. Everything in one time. I like this. And then the magic of TV, we already had one in the oven. We're taking it out, and now we get to eat. And then you're ready to go. Ooh. I like to serve this with maybe some simple red potatoes. And we'd like you oh. to serve it to us. Okay, here you go. <laughs> we don't care how you give it to us. <laughs> exactly. That looks amazing, and we're starving. Oh, I hope you enjoy it. Oh, Bob, it. you have the greatest recipes that are so user-friendly. Well, and I want to see people making it, too. I want to yeah. see you coming into the restaurant and saying, Bob, I tried to make your chicken for Well, we won't dip. eat this one. We'll let get everyone see oh, this right. one. Yeah. And, and we'll then like, can we eat you another You do some one? serving. Yeah, yeah. I want to take a second to check in with our friend Brian Wigglesworth. He is here getting us ready for the Siesta Key Crystal Classic Sand Sculpture Competition. And, oh, Brian, would that happen to be our guide dog, Wrigley? It does look a little bit like him, doesn't it? Oh, it does. certainly oh, does. Beautiful. Brian is so talented, and you will want to head out to Siesta Key November 11th. Brian, I know you're one of the big organizers out there making this all happen. Some amazing sand sculptures on Siesta Key Beach, and the competition gets better and better every year, doesn't it? It really does. This year we even have a couple sculptures coming from Russia, so we're wow. really excited to see these guys. World-renowned sand sculptures right here on Siesta Key. That starts November 11th. Mark your calendars. Big thanks to Brian for making Wrigley for us, and Bobeth for sharing Chicken Florentine. Yay. Thank you Thank very you. much. <laughs> great <laughs> recipe. Go visit Bob at Gold Rush Barbecue for some great home cooking. Michael, a pleasure to have have you with us? Thank you. Everyone take some time and enjoy the great. Suncoast view.